Hey Charles, this is Bernie at Be Present Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to speak to my associate Elizabeth early today. Now in this quick video, we're going to go over three things uh, that you can do to start beating out your competition, improve your website traffic, and bring in more online customers. Now Charles, you may be asking yourself, uh, why are we sending you this video? Well, Charles, in our research, we found that a lot of small businesses such as yourself are too busy taking care of your employees and your customers that you don't have time to learn how the internet works. We feel that the only thing that's stopping you from hiring someone is that you don't know who's an expert and who's not. So what we do is we come, we put together these attack plans. Uh, we give them away for free. Some people implement them themselves. Some people call us back. Charles, whatever you decide is totally fine with us. All we ask is that you do give us some feedback at the end of this video. Now the three things we're going to go over, one is content, the second is backlinks, and the third is citations. Now content is any words on your website. Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words depending on the keywords needed. Now a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for your a particular service. Uh, for example, uh, keywords should be placed throughout your website. Um, telling Google exactly the terms that you want to be ranked for. So one example of that is if you're a plumber in Oceanside, you want to have keywords on your website like plumber, Oceanside, leaks, flooding. Uh, this tells Google exactly who then tells the end user that your website and your company exists. Now if I take a look at your web page, I like the color scheme, I like your logo up here. Um, you have a ca uh, caption form for information that's crucial important and you have some information on your services I can see your trucks some pictures uh, just keep in mind that all these pictures here uh, they can be saved as a as a, a file or, or keywords because when Google call, crawls a site they can read what's behind these pictures so if you serve save this picture as uh, roof repair or roof leak or for example this is a rubber roof or commercial roofing you want to save this picture as commercial roofing or a rubber roof which will uh, Google will then rank you for and read that information so if I take a look at your page and what I did was highlight your whole page I put your your all the words on your page into a word counter so I came up with this right now you have 451 words on your website Again, keep in mind that Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words. Uh, your next competitor, which is M&J Roofing, um, let's take a look at their site really quick. Uh, okay, uh, looks like they have a fair amount of content. Um, their locations, where they service. Okay, so I did the same thing with their page. I put their page into a word counter. Uh, they have about 1,025 words, and the, your third competitor, um, High Point Roofing, uh, let's take a look at their site, they have some pictures, um, some of their services, okay, um, and they have about 1,000 words on their page. Um, so again, uh, some of the keywords that you want to be ranked for in terms of your content. Uh, you want to be ranked for roofing keywords like roof repair, roof replacement, uh, rain roof gutters, um, roof installation if you do any of that stuff like rain roof gutters, uh, shingle repairs. Um, so basically the more content that you have on your page, the easier it is for you to actually have these words on your website. So if, if again, if your competitor has a thousand words, we want to have at least 1500 to 2000 words on our website. If your competitor has 2,000 words, we want to have about 50, 2,500 words uh, so we can outrank them uh, organically in our searches. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is, is a backlink. Now, a backlink is basically anytime uh, you see your a company's website linking back to your website via, via click, clickable hyperlink. Now, these links act as an endorsement uh, on your website, which then tells Google it actually builds trust in your website. Um, so these links act as an endorsement of your website uh, for other users, which you know Google uses to build trust in your website. It's you know the internet is literally uh, Charles like a popularity contest. The person with the most backlinks wins. Now, just Charles, Charles, keep in mind that not every backlink is created equal. So you you want to be careful about which backlinks you get. So for example, you don't want to if because you guys are a roofing company, you go out and get a backlink from Domino's or Pizza Hut, 
um, Google knows that's just not relevant to your business and they're not going to give you any um, validity for that. Uh, so it's not going to be vouching for you. So basically what I use is a tool called AREFs. It's a pay tool. You don't have to use it, but uh, it gives me all the information on the backside of, of the Internet and what's going on. So here you can see this is your website. Um, right now you have 80 backlinks on your website. Uh, so that means that there are 80 links from other companies, other websites, linking from those websites back to your website, which is good. Uh, but if we look at your competitor and we punch in there, uh, M&J, we can see M&J has 1,400 backlinks. Uh, and if we look at your third competitor, um, we can see that HP Roofing has 141 backlinks. So basically what's going on here is that they have 141 other websites pointing back to them, giving them authority. But obviously the one that would need to be beaten out is M&J um, for their searches. And they have 1,400 backlinks. Now, also keep in mind that both these companies are actually ranking for services pages. So their services pages are not a, that powerful. Um, if you can get your homepage, um, more links on your homepage linking back to the actual area in which you do your services in, um, that will definitely blow these guys out of the water. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about something that's called a citation. Now, a citation is any time your name, address, and phone numbers appears in a directory exactly as your per my, my Google My Business page. Now, citations, uh, you know, citations are very important. Um, you're, you're, it, it ranks you higher in the map pack. So if I take a look at the map pack um, here, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about here. So I did a search of roofing Atlantic County, New Jersey. Um, and so we have some ads up here, as you can see. Uh, companies advertising. This is the organic Google My Business map pack. This is where you want to be. Um, and I can tell you how to outrank these guys uh, in this system. And this is where we call the organic search. Okay. So in the map pack, um, the higher in the map pack, which is extremely important. Like if you can get the higher you get in this map pack, the higher, the more business you're going to be generating in terms of you know, it's a huge amount of revenue that you're going to be generating from here. Now, your stations, the more your citations go up, which is your name, address, and phone number, the more times it appears in more directories, the, the more uh, Google is going to give you credibility and they're going to rank you higher. Uh, so the idea here is, for example, affordable roofing. Um, if they have 20 citations, you need to go out and get 40 citations. If these guys have 50 citations, you need to go out and get into... 60 to 70 directories. If these guys have a hundred, they're in a hundred directories, you need to go out and get into two to 300 directories. And you don't have to actually stay local. You can actually branch out, go to other places. Now, one of the things I also notice is that you're, you do have a Google My Business, but when I type in your name, um, World Roofing, I don't come up with a business name uh, citations, but I do see this one, World Construction. So I believe this is you because I typed it again over here and it does come up and it draws me to your website. It has your website here. So again, I think, you know, clearing this up, World Construction New Jersey, kind of consolidating either you're going to be World Construction New Jersey or you're going to be World Roofing. Um, consolidating those two is going to, you know, give you a lot more power um, so that you can rank uh, organically in the map pack here. Okay, so uh, again, in recapping, um, we went over getting more content. So we want to beat out our competition. We want to have more content on our website that's relevant to what we do. We want to also have keywords relevant to our business. Um, the more keywords we have on our website, the, um, the more traffic we're going to be able to draw to our website. And then we talked about backlinking. We talked about getting other links re referring back to you. So, for example, if you have a friend that has an HVAC company and he has a website, that's a great link to have him linking to you and you vice versa linking to him, uh, doing what we call a, a, a link connection. Um, so the more backlinks you have, the more relevant you are going to be in, in Google's eyes. And then the, the last thing we talked about was citations. You know, having your name, address, and phone number in more directories than any of your competition is, is how you're going to rank organically in the map pack section on the Google My Business 
page. So listen, Charles, I hope this was helpful. Um, you can do one of two things right now, Charles. You can implement this stuff on your own. Uh, but just keep in mind, and, you know, it does take time for this to start to, to go into effect and, and, and see your ranking move up. So the sooner you start, Charles, uh, the better off, you know, the more you're going to start to see, to see your profits rise. Um, but if you do feel like you need more information, Charles, feel free, feel free to please reach out to us. Um, we're here to help. Uh, all we're looking to do is just educate our, our consumers and customers. Uh, Charles, thank you for watching this video, and you have a great day.